Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mesa Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Mesa Troll. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rough deep grooves toward the chuck versus typical grooving operations that move from the center of the groove to the left and right side. All right, let's get started. All right. Here's the groove we're going to be doing. I have a 1 inch 750 bar piece of aluminum and I've already turned it down to 1 inch 700 and faced it off. So all we're going to concentrate on this video is how to groove this from the right side of the groove to the left side of the groove and then finish it normally. So we have a 1 inch 700 diameter stock. We're going to groove it starting at a hundred thousandths from the face and the groove is nine hundred thousandths wide. So what I'm actually going to do is program the finish groove and then come back and show you the roughing passes, how I get to that. So we're going to push groove out, and we're going to use number one. Number of grooves is one. Grooving pitch is zero. The width of the groove is 900 thousandths. Finish allowance, let's just put a number in here, 10 thousandths, and then auto the feeds and speeds. We're going to put a 20 thousandths chamfer here. And the grooving number one starts at this position at 100 thousandths, right here. So 1.7, Z is 0.1. Finish diameter X is going to be 500 thousandths. And finish Z is going to be this corner here at a 100 thousandths. And we're going to have the rough and finish the same. We're going to leave this at zero. So I'm going to show you the typical groove right now. So we'll zoom it up a little bit. So here's the groove. And then if we hit check continue, we're going to rough the face, finish the face of the, rough the OD, finish the OD. And now this is the grooving operation as it's programmed. It comes in the middle, then it moves over toward the right. Then it's moving over toward the left. And then it's going to finish it. And then it's done. The problem is, when you're machining a skinny little part like this, you really can't get after it very fast because this is starting to chatter because it's only on a half inch diameter. So the point of this video is to groove it from the right side to the left. So we're going to delete the roughing tool. We're going to make the grooving a different grooving tool here and then I'm just going to copy this down and erase it just for simplicity. So 
So this is the grooving operation that I need to do. I have a 118 thousandths wide grooving tool. And what I'm going to do is plunge here where the stock is the strongest. And then I'm going to move it over toward the left side. If I pick a grooving zero, it's going to start here and go that way normally. But I'm going to show you how to trick the machine to get it to go that way. So we're going to select groove, out, and we're going to select zero. Number of grooves, I'm going to leave that at zero right now and I'll get back to it. I want to show you the other stuff first. And I'll leave the pitch alone too. So the grooving width is the width of the cutting tool itself, so it only goes in one time. Uh, finish allowance is not a field that Groove Zero uses. Groove Zero is a finished process. That's why there's no roughing tool. So I'm going to crank the feed rate up to 7 thou per rev and it's going to have a depth of cut of 100 thou. It's going to break the chip every 100 thousandths. And we're going to use the same tool, tool 15, offset 1. The chamfer and the radius are not effective on this grooving zero. So starting point on X is going to be 1.7. Starting point on Z, this is where the trick comes in at. So the first pass is going to be a hundred thousandths plus 118 plus five thousandths. So the first pass of the Z is 0.223. That's the first plunge pass. Final point on X, we're going to give it 20 thousandths on diameter for a finish so it does not, so it leaves stock down here. So 520 is what we're going to put in X. And the finish point on Z is still going to be 223. Now that we have the starting groove Z depth, now we need to figure out where the final Z depth is. And the final Z depth is 0.995 because we're going to finish it one inch from the face of the part and we're going to leave five thousandths here and five thousandths here. So what we need to do is do some math. So the first pass of the groove is at 223 the last pass has to be at 995. So what we do is take 995 minus 223 equals 772. Now if I divide 772 by eight grooves, then I get a pitch of 0.0965. But I have to include the first groove, so I tell the machine I'm going to groove nine grooves with a pitch of 0 0.0965. So number of grooves is nine grooves. Grooving pitch, 0 And what we see is a bunch of overlapping grooves in order to force it to groove from the right side to the left side. So now if we zoom in on here, we have a five thousandths gap on the right side. So here's the five thousandths gap. And on the left side, you can see the chamfer, the grooves coming in. Now there's the five thousandths gap on the left side.
So now what we need to do is copy, either recreate or copy. I'm just going to copy it. Copy this grooving four down here. So we do this, push the right button here, push process copy. It's going to ask workpiece number. We're on workpiece 20 and process number four. So it just copied it down here. Now I'm going to erase this one. And then end the program. Scale input. So now it's grooving it and then finishes. It. So here's the 10 thousandths per side on the diameter I'm leaving and five on the face. So now let's run the toolpath. It's going to finish, rough the face, finish the face, rough the OD, finish the OD. And now it's grooving it from the right side to the left and it maintains all of the strength of the material as it's grooving toward the left. And then now it's going to do its normal finish pass and then it's done. All right. I've already ran the OD face and turning, so now I have to run is just the grooving process. So what I'm going to do is go in here to Program Layout, and I'm going to select F4 and skip all of this stuff. So I'm going to go F4 on the restart, process F4 input, and I'm not going to turn on the coolant, so I'm just going to say input end. And I have the coolant shut off anyway. All right, let's run this. All right, here we go. And we're done. And there's our finished part with a groove right in the middle of it. If you like what you see, go ahead and push the subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. If you guys found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel and gets YouTube to share this video with more people. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching.